What's this? That could be anything. All this reading of chat is all downhill from here, boys and girls. Uh, oh no. What's this we've been given? Uh, this is this is witch uh, this is witch elves. This is dark elves, isn't it? Wow, this is proper dark elves as well. Jesus. Um. Mighty blow, tackle, dodge, sidestep. Oh my word. <coughs> uh, we've got uh, a dodge, sidestep, guard. Uh, a bludge, sidestep. Uh, a bludge, sidestep. To crush your enemies. See them driven before you. And they have a lamentation step. of their women. And a wrestle juggernaut jump up. This is a this is a proper team, this. Anyone my team's got? Four guards, a block. Fucking hell, we're in trouble. Oh god. Okay. So we got four guards and a block against all that bludge. Oh my god. Um, I think I'm just gonna take Morgue. Um and Varag. There you go. Morgan Varag. Yeah, we'll have Morg and Varag. Uh, we've got Mold under the pitch. Perfect passing. A stiletto. Oh. Okay. Until the end of the drive, any plays because you're pushing the crowd. Fine. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's a pitch, uh, prediction up. Uh, let's do it. It's a name at least. Hello, it's a name. Hello, Kinks. Right. One thing I want to ask of you all. There's a hundred of you here now. Is that we've had a lot of new people sign up. Um, not just to watch this stream, but to watch a lot of other streams. And I'm going to ask of this, I guess, of, of all of you, but for all streams. And... I think it'd be really cool to be still streaming the game in, in five years' time when they fixed it. And the best way we're going to do that is a lot of the new people that come in, <clears throat> it'd be nice to be super like welcoming of those new people because they're going to look at the stream, they're going to say, hey, what's that? Um, and we're going to ask them if they've got questions. Not in a uh, new person jump all over them, lynch them kind of way, just in a in a polite and friendly manner. Love all 2 came out eight years ago. That's true. Good evening, Scavenger. Welcome to the channel. Uh, Tomo says, keep explaining why you do things. Maybe. Ha, <laughs> challenge set. Surf the side step witch for 100 bits. Uh, you are aware that this coach is clearly good, by the way, right? I mean, I'll try, but um, I think this, beyond, this is going to be beyond um, uh, mere mortals to do that. Because I think I think this coach is good. Uh, got a slight problem. I haven't actually got any crap players to put on the pitch. Um. Hello, two months to sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> Cheers, Sarge. How are you? I don't really want to bench the goblin. I really don't. But never mind. Big Never Ash mind. 100. So, what well, we'll it do... wouldn't be a challenge if you were playing the AI. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be a challenge if we're playing against the AI. That's very true. Okay. So let's see if we can try and thin him down a little bit. That's the that's the first mission, um, because playing into all of this nonsense with um Without the ability to thin him down, to be a problem. So uh, we've got a me meaty blow blonde. Uh, what's the kickoff events? A solid defense. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got a meaty blow one and a meaty blow two. Uh, but bear in mind, there's a lot of sidestep going on. So there's this is a this is an absolutely nightmare um, uh, problem for sure. Uh, 
it wouldn't be a challenge if you were playing the AI. Well, that's true. Thank you for the cheer. Hello, Tren. Uh, did Blood Bowl 3 change anything about the long-term injuries of the Apothecary? Uh, there were some things I disliked most about Blood Bowl 2. Uh, yes, they did. So the... Uh, let's let's cover both of those. So long-term injuries. Uh, niggling injury is no longer the same way. Niggling injury is just... Um, uh, plus one to further in, uh, further injury rolls doesn't make it more likely. It means that when you get injured, it hurts a little bit more. And now the injury table is a D16 result, not a, uh, a D6 result. Uh, someone far smarter than me uh, is going to be able to link the actual specifics. Tomo says, explain the problems you're facing each turn, why your opponent moves are good or bad. All right, sure. Well... We need to go and cover the ball. So the first, the first, like the actual overarching problem we've got here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's got, it's got a stiletto. Okay. Of course it's got a stiletto. Uh, the first thing we're going to face and the first problem we've got is that their team is so much better than ours um, with respect to um, bludgeon sidestep, right? I've got no tackle at all <laughs> um and we're therefore going to really struggle to be able to do anything to our opponent because because of this bludge tackle spam so uh my my victory condition is therefore damage output i didn't like benching the goblin because it leans into that oh there we go uh it leans into that um that thought uh, but i've got to field the four black Orcs, i've got to field the four guard blitzers i've got to field the thrower and therefore and it, that's nine and I feel the two star players. So we've made the ball okay. safe. <coughs> Lev, I think that is his squad. Uh. Okay, we've got the ball. I'm actually just going to put these like this, right? Is it the perfect turn? No, but we're going to have to press. We're going to have to take space. Um, and I expect our opponent is probably going to play quite an aggressive style. Uh, what we do have in our advantage, uh, oh, sorry, we do have in our locker is, and I'm going to put all skills on so you can see how bad this is, uh, is I do have four guard blitzers. Um, and I've also got the ability to three dice anything. Uh, you can also add a stage two tactics video to your team guides. The older Dark Elf videos are really good for it, this. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Kinda, I'm just... Curious in terms of what he's going Let's to do. Let's hope that in another nine months, BB3 will be good, cheeky, smiley. Face. Yeah, I, th I think, uh, I think, it, I think in in nine months' time, Blood Bowl Three will be really good, right? I think we just need to um, buckle up and wait for nine months to happen. Uh, J Love, I was going to talk about that slightly further into the show, but you, yeah, we we can we can cover it now, sure. How much guard has our opponent got? One. Get you off the floor. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, we're going to blitz on three dice with Morg. And, and bro broadly, what I'm going to do every turn is we're going to three dice blitz with Morg into something and then hopefully we kill it. Right, and it, it's, not an, it's not an original game plan, but it's the game plan we've got. And what we'll be able to do is just put loads of pressure into our opponent and we'll be stepping forwards as much as possible. I don't like having to give away the two guards though, which is a shame. There we go. 
Mm, I think I should have covered that bit better. So this guy went here to try and protect these guys because I don't want them to get isolated and nailed. Um, as far as I can... What skill's that? Sidestep. So the foot is sidestep. The swirly, uh, like, road looks like dodge. Uh, the shield is guard. Okay. Tell Morg if he doesn't roll higher on armor, he'll get sacked. Yeah. Mr. Botnot, thank you very much indeed, and happy birthday. Happy baby day, sorry. Hi, old Rip Stream. Fintel, why? Stream looks like solid to me. Interesting to see if he isolates the guards. So he, he might go and try and isolate guard. Um, if he does, I am going to take the space. Because in this particular matchup, uh, he's got about seven obnoxious players. There should be a variant of Morg with Frenzy. Ah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. What skill's that? Do you know there's just there's no interaction when he just dodges away? So we need to be morguing someone in the face. I'd like to morgue this in the face, if I'm honest. Because if you're going to punch something in the face, do it properly. That's three. I want to. I need to make that three dice just in case it's a dub skulls. So if we need to make that three dice, let's do that. Okay, so that's not dead. What about this one? Not dead, but we can put the ball here. That's two more squares further forward. So we'll put the guard in. Whoops, sorry. We'll put the guard in here. The other guard there, the ball is going to go there. Which is the further two, two more squares further forward, which is wonderful. Um, we'll put the Black Orc in just there. That's protecting our flank. Morg is going to do the Blitz. Manwiz Block is going to go stand there. Morg does blitz. He hasn't got a strength six piece, so he can't just lift Morg out of the way. Oh, Morg finds the pow. Go for it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, Loki's Run says, what are your thoughts on the official tier list from GW? Um, I, I think it's a little bit weird, uh, Loki, if I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, no, he's got sidestep the biggest, uh, biggies. So, uh, let's take those questions one at a time. The first of all, what do I think about the tier list? The tier list of Blood Bowl, uh, I'm going to do a, a Blood Bowl Power Rankings video, which will come out on Sunday. And I'm going to talk to you about what teams are good and what teams are bad and all that, that fun stuff, right? Because I think once you've then got the guide videos, it's like, okay, well, which ones are good and which ones aren't? So there'll be a power list uh, coming out. And I'll explain in a lot of detail about how that all will work. But the, the sort of the, the summing up version, if, if that's okay, is that um, a lot of the players... A lot of the teams have power curves, right? They're good at one place and not, not so good at others. So to say arbitrarily, Orcs are good, 
Well, that's not entirely true, is it? Yeah, and and it and it kinks it absolutely. You're right. It it depends on the on the format. Uh, Shergan says depends on his. Oh, get off. Oh, that's a felt dodge. These are all extra armor rolls, which are nice. Nice. Uh, what turn are we on now? So we're on turn four. Uh, well, this Black Hawk's definitely just going to have to stand up. Unfortunately, it's a little bit isolated from the herd now. Um, and there's the idea that we could three dice this with morgues. One, two, three, four, five. Go for it. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. So we'll go there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then the other question that I saw in the chat, which is, why did I not um, follow up with Morg? Uh, the reason I didn't follow up with Morg, get off my pitch, uh, is because if I had followed up with Morgs, um, he would have been isolated and it would have potentially hurt me. He's like a fucking teddy bear. I'm going to take him back to the shop and say, Oi, I ordered the dangerous version of Morg. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to put you there so we can actually build a ball. The ball's going to go there. So therefore, if that goes there... Ball goes there. We know we need to put I need to put the killy one in here. Ugh. It's got God. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go put you in here. Gives me a little bit more movement. Um, I'm not sure I want to cover anything else. I think you need to go in here. And then we need to start thinking about cutting down where our opponents can just go to uh, and making things just that little bit more uncomfortable for them. So let's do that. And turn. All right, they can commit to fouling the odd, yeah, throwing the odd block, but they can't commit to stopping the, the, the choo choo train of death. So that's the plan. David Beckett, thank you very much indeed for the raid. I closed all my browsers and reopened and life was good for me with video. Fentel, welcome back. Uh, Flax True, welcome to the channel. Is there any, anything we can do to help you? It's so much harder to tell the players apart. Uh, if you zoom in a little bit more, I think it's it's easier when you zoomed in. But I, I do I do agree, harder for sure. So here comes the pressure. So cunning, you could put a tail on it and call it a weasel. Peaceful inhaler, welcome to the channel. Well, hello there. Aha. See what you have done there. Uh, Danny says, are you winning? Uh, not currently. Give me a moment. We'll get there. We have caused one casualty. So if we can, the next casualty counts. That is important. That the next cas does count. Dementor says, I acknowledge you exist. Good. We mortals are but shadows and dust. 
Shadows, Shadows and Dust. Absolutely love that. It's fucking brilliant. Oh, pals. She's she's only armor seven. She can get right fucked. Bang! And the witch elf was totally, completely and utterly, utterly fine. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. She was completely fine. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? We need these to actually be Sorry, some form of removal. Sorry, I couldn't get you some elf pie there. I do need these to be removals. This is a problem. There's a problem here on this cage corner. Nice block. Come on. Zell, thank you very much indeed for six months of being awesome. That was underwhelming. Yeah, she he, he rolled, um, Morg rolled a seven on the armor. So the mighty blow was then applied to the armor roll and then a roll a two, I think, on the injury. Um, mighty blow here was, we rolled a power, which was 50-50, but then we didn't break armor. Um, and broadly what's happening at the moment is the Dark Elves are just like, ha <laughs> um, ha And until that stops, we've got a problem. And this, uh, JMC is doing the absolutely the right thing, which is he's got vastly superior team. Um, and once and until we do something about the vastly superior team, i.e. kill it, um, he's just going to elf me. Uh, can I move myself? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's because I was doing guide videos. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Is that Okay. Very few elves in quick match, but the good ones are so annoying to play against. Yeah, well, you you can like we. This is about the first or second elf team we've run into for. Well, I say first. It's the first one we've run into for a while. I can't see chat. <clears throat> yeah, I thought they'd try and uh, do something different, but. Oh, nice. Moisture is the essence of wetness. And wetness uh, is the essence of No injury, I guess. She's coming in for the sack. Every fucking time.
Oh dear. Does she have sidestep? No. Okay. Well, getting an elf... Getting an elf. Getting an orc back there to go and pick this up is going to be a real problem. Um, like, I literally can't reach. Um... Like, li literally can't reach. Um, I think we have to blitz with Morg here. Oh shit, three plus rushes, why? Oh, stupid moles. put you there. I've got to put you there. Follow all those things up. Um, we'll stand the thrower up and I'm going to try and dodge the star player to pick the ball up, I think. Which is insane, but... Got it. Wow. Okay. Well, I got it. Uh, Fintel, thank you very much for the Prime. And no more adverts for you. Press K. Uh, oh, yeah. We can go and see all the different things. We've got Moles under the pitch. Um, perfect passing. What's that one? Surfing is worth loads. Yeah. Darn moles. Yeah. But yeah, my, my, my victory condition on this game is we have to cause some damage. We haven't caused any damage. It's a bit of a, yeah, it's not unreasonable. You've only got one mighty blow two player. It's not. I think this is my this is my very first experience with a matchmaker being shit. Um, six, well, uh, we're 400. We're 400 out. Six. Well, I don't really care about the, the dice. He's not been... I've been lucky or unlucky or whatever. Um, the, the, the absolute issue has been I can't get the ball. Uh, I can't cause any casualties. So it, we have to cause casualties in this matchup.
Let's go put more Glutogly over there. Stand you off the floor. Blitz. That stops me dodging and it means I can move the ball further forward. And we know we're not scoring with you. We know that um, you're not fair enough forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Never mind. Hello, Glowworm. Uh, did they change? Ah, right. So Malachi, it's a great question. Uh, and sorry if I've missed questions over the last minute or two. Uh, please just ping them again because I'm, I'm not going to see them in my turns because I, I only look on that screen. Uh, the the money generation in Blood Bowl is a complete, it's been completely reworked. And you get um, D, both, the way it works, both coaches at the start of the game roll D3. So yeah, D6 halved. And then both coaches also have up to six dedicated fans. Let's assume both coaches are doing really well. You've got six dedicated fans each. So that's six plus six is 12 plus D3 each. Let's say that's another like six, 18. So you're now splitting um, 18 each and you get uh, 10K for every time eight you score. So you could be picking up like 80 and 90K. It's absolutely bonkers. Like absolutely bonkers. Uh, hi, just a moment that thread tickets go on tomorrow, uh, buddy. Nice one. Uh, you got a link for us, um, Blow? And for anyone else that might be interested in um, partaking. How will that change leagues? Uh, it just means there's an absolute shitload of inducements money f sloshing around. You gonna put your off in scoring range? No. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll have another three dice here because hopefully we can kill one because that takes him down to, to less players. Nope. Well, it's a double rush from us. And then we need to do handoff action here to our thrower. There we go. Then we need to do a double go for it with you. And then we need to do a pass action. Five. Two plus three plus four plus. Welcome. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, you can score a touchdown. Touchdown! Captain Luxter at it again. Yeah. Uh, link above, only... 
120 gigs available. Sign on for you. Pay you secure your spot. <laughs> like it. Like it. Um, scrolly up. Prof Donga says, I used your human guide to start building a team, but I'm ready to new to Blood Bowl. How do you recommend handling orcs or other big teams that love to fight? Um, they're the hardest matchups, Prof. Like, genuinely, they're the hardest matchups. Uh, I do talk about it in the strategy section, I think, about keeping players free so you're only prevent presenting four or five players to get based and you can move people around. Uh, I hope I talk about that in that section. If I don't, it might be in one of the other uh, strength three team sections. Good nooning. Dearie me. <coughs> We're not going to leave you an easy surf. Um... I'm going to rent, bet, wrench Morg, wrench uh, this, the Varag, um, and therefore you can't do any nonsense, nonsense. Um, and we're going to just put guard, guard. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. Uh, do you have an ELI 5 video on this game? What, Dre, sorry, what? what's the question there, uh, Dre? Uh, Cheeky Jimmy says, still hasn't said hello. I'm an absolute bastard. And I won't be saying hello to you today, Cheeky Jimmy, so you can fuck right off. Bemby says, also need to blow bowl. Uh, I've been... <laughs> no, I love you, really. Don't, don't, don't do that. Oh, he was asking for a summary of what uh, blow bowl is. Um... <laughs> Uh, Blood Bowl is an American sports simulation game that doesn't really share too much in, uh, in common with American sports other than it is American football. And it's played with orcs and elves and goblins and humans uh, and lots of other races. I think about it as it's got the same level of strategy as a, as a, as a strategy game, but it's also got a look element like poker. So it's like chess and poker play a sports game would be how I would describe it. Random chess. And skill will always win out. Pretty much. Explain it like I'm five. Uh, I've not heard of that before. Risk management. Yeah, I like to think of it as, as risk management. And as, as such, um, strategy, risk management, doing the right things at the right time, having a grasp of, of what you should be doing are, are super important. So, for example, what has just happened right now, I, I, I scored a, a relatively fortuitous touchdown. It was a couple of threes. In fact, I think it's four three pluses. Yeah, so you can fail a three plus. Any 11% of the time, you'll fail a three plus with a reroll. But uh, what's happening right now is our opponent is attempting to score what is known as a one turn touchdown, which is L they have one turn gamer on the clock. 100. Everybody get up. Singing. Five will make you get down now. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh. Ooh, Cheeky yeah, underscore yeah. Jimmy 100. Well, if you're going to be like that, I was going to buy you Nando's, but you can stick it where the <laughs> sun doesn't shine. No, that's not true. I was never going to buy you a Nando's. X. I know. I know. Um, Katie, I think I saw you streaming uh, Blood Bowl. Were you streaming it with someone else recently? Uh, and you you normally play something else. Um, I, I want to say either you or your, your streaming buddy or the person you were talking to was American. Is that... Am I thinking of completely the wrong person, or have I got that right? A good day. When Andy's schedule is scheduled to come out? Um, Thursday or Friday? Probably Friday. That's me and his name is Fairlight. Yeah, I, th I thought so. Yeah, um, I... It... Oh, you... You, you bastard. <laughs> it just dropped a foul on my Black Orc. Biggin, sorry. Biggin. On my Biggin. It's a good job we're playing Blood Bowl. Um, yeah. Right. 
So, where was I at to? I was thinking about two or three different things. Yeah, I, I didn't want to talk about the guide videos and stuff that I'd done in, in your channel. I didn't want to be disrespectful. Um, so it's sometimes it's difficult to go into someone else's channel you don't know and say, oh, hi, I'm I'm Andy. Um, and, uh, and introduce yourself. But luckily, some of the, your channel and my channel had some crossover, which you were was really saying you have helpful. a foul big un. Andrew. Right, let's bring on, bring on the big guys. Let's bring on our big guys. I wonder how our opponent's going to play this out. Hype 261 to 100. You have to introduce yourself? Don't these people know who you are? I hate that. I actually hate that. Stop it. Uh, for those of you who are new here, don't you know who I am is a meme and I absolutely hate it. It's cringy. Uh, what's your opinion on the Skaven? Uh, Skaven are one of the probably uh, stronger races in the box of 12. Uh, they have, once they get going, they're, they're a very effective, very effective team. They, of course, die. Uh, a lot. Is that Morgan Thorg or Zug? It's Morgan Thorg and I've got um uh Varag Gulchu is over here as well. Uh are they top three? Um L Plate Gamer one hundred lower team values. Do you know possibly. who I am? I am Andy Robert actually and elf coach Banger Davo. Uh prediction points, was it half time? Uh it was, yeah, I'm winning at half time, so we'll we'll pay that out. We'll go on to the uh, the full time result now. Final result. If you would like to earn channel points so that you can spend them on being a player on one of the teams, predict now. It's not gambling; it's is predicting. Even better now, Andy Davo. Don't you know who I am? Random dude. No, I don't. You any good? <laughs> I hated that. I really didn't like that. Anyway, uh, we've got a kickoff to event to uh, to kick off, so let's kick off with our event. Ooh, good kick. It's a play style. I've been playing with a starting build where I only go one gutter runner and full rerolls with linemen. Oh no 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 no! Uh, it's not it's not my favourite. Um. If I could humbly recommend uh, four gutter runners, uh, then that would be good. Cheeky Jimmy just got his 75k badge. See how the orcs going? Uh, they're going all right, thank you. Yeah, going all right. Um, good evening, Master Zen. 75k bits, that's incredible. Looks like I'll be buying you the Nando's, Cheeky Jimmy. If it's not gambling, why do people lose? Uh, it's incorrect um, appraisal of the situation, Santa. Hello, Hyperbrain. Bargain. Yeah, but he gets all the all, all the like the fun the fun reasoning, right? Uh Katie, if if you I don't know if you want to spend any time like looking at guides and videos and stuff. Um, but the Skaven guide video will be out. I think it's gonna be on Friday. Uh, I've got to just do some final recording for it. But uh I'm I'm kinda looking forward to doing the Skaven one. If I if if I if I'm being truthful. There's two I haven't done. There is the Skaven one and there is the um the Old Road Alliance. El Ninjio, welcome to the channel. Rat Life Forever. Did you play Blood Bowl 2 at all or not? Your guide videos have definitely got better as they've come out. I can tell you're getting more comfortable with the format. Uh yeah, so so part of me does, um, the, 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 you, I, th I almost think nobody's going to believe me, but part of me does actually find uh, sitting in front of a camera, looking at a camera uh, and talking to it actually quite challenging. I'm not, I'm not an extrovert person. I'm, I'm kind of introverted. So 
um, staring at a camera and stuff is it, it's a bit a bit, a bit of a challenge. Hmm. I want to hit the guard. The guard is his problem player. L plate gamer 100. You would need to be introverted with that face. Love you really. You're actually a knob sometimes. I don't know if you've ever been told that. Right, we've now got three dice uh, here. So El Morgio can go th captain three dice here. Boom, search for a pal. Oh, we get two pals. Can't sadly stack them, but we do get a singular pal. And at this point, it was worth following up uh, because why not? It puts pressure on gamer and makes some stuff. Only sometimes? Please, Andy, I have a reputation to uphold here. There we go. So I've just gone for full press. Um, we had to do the full press because we were a player down. Um, and I've put press here. We put press into this one. And I've got strength 5 and a strength 4 on the corner. So I've effectively tried to build an N shape. So it's, it's my N with a morgue. It's a Morgan. Put a cardboard cut out of yourself walking behind the camera. <laughs> I don't know, like... Can can anyone tell I don't look super comfortable recording them? I like now I'm now I'm not talking to the actual camera about it. Big Ash 100. All this talk of Morg being broken. I don't think you are making a great case at the moment. I love doing my vids. Yeah, but your vids are cool. Cheeky underscore Jimmy 100. I was talking about this at Water Bowl with an opponent. If you get double or triple POWs, you should get a bonus to Mighty Blow. I think you used to, if you go back a long time. Ed says you don't really look at all. Yeah, like, you know the next couple, and in fact, I almost said I don't want to say this until I've recorded them all. Um, but I feel like when I, when I record them, you'll find that I don't look at the camera very often because the camera is like I'm thinking about the audience member and I'm looking at the audience member and if I look at the screen then I know that they're there I know you're watching um, it's like XCOM I know you're there but I, I don't have to acknowledge that, that you're there you look a bit more relaxed live yeah I, f I feel it um, what BB Nut doesn't see is the 17 takes and I'm not joking the 17 takes of um, <laughs> of like hi I'm Andy Davo this is the guide video for blah 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 right it sounds so casual and it's like it sounds so relaxed, but I, I really struggle with that. It, it's about 17, like genuinely. Have you considered getting better at talk? Talking, Megatron can tutor you. Megatron's my four year old child, for those of you who don't know what that is. Faces in exactly what you mean. <laughs> Good. Whereas, um, like, Chris Rossin, who's in the channel now, uh, he is uh, an absolute monster. He's just an absolute monster. You need a cheesy intro and outro. I haven't ever found a cheesy outro. I haven't got an intro either, but... Um, you, you're not wrong. I'm a monster. You are, yeah. You're like, you just, you just Mr. Char Charismatic, aren't you? Hype 261 to 100. When recording the guide videos, just pretend your audience isn't wearing any pants. Just like you aren't wearing pants when you record them. Yeah, I have actually recorded one of the guide videos without pants on. <laughs> oh dear. The question is, which one? <laughs> what do you mean we know? I don't mean like, like, like underwear. I mean like just in a, in a pair of boxer shorts. I assumed that no one had noticed. It was fine. I 
I'm not going to stop this score. Like, we're just not stopping this score. If we stay put, we can push you backwards. Um, really? Really? I'm going to re-roll that. We need this to be a pal of some description. There we go. Okay, never mind. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll go swing here, swing here. They just don't stand out enough. It's really bad. Hopefully we can kill one of these. How many times has Morg actually broke armour? Three, two. Uh, hello, Bada Binga. Andy is on it. I'm not cheating, right? It's an actual exploit. It's not supposed to be there. The L in this game has been pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah, it has. But if we split it, if I can split him a bit, we can do some interesting stuff. Bad players. Well, I've hit with him pretty much every turn. I think, I think he's, he's thrown six or seven, eight blocks maybe. Like I'm, I'm not hanging around. Hello, Jeff. Is your opponent, gonna, opponent going to fail a dodge? He is. And he's going to KO himself. Wonderful. Right, so this is his turn. This is my 12. It'll be his 13 next. We need to get and press into here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I blitz here, I can get Morgan. If I blitz the line orc, at uh, the line orc, the line elf, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Morg is not involved. So I think I'm just gonna literally blitz here and see what happens. Fuck a duck. Pewter says no again. Back here. We're going to foul this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, 
can't see how I'm going to get anything in here to cancel this assist. Um, another guard in there. Right, now that's an assist to cancellation because actually I can, I can dodge into there and I can foul from here. So that's the plan. So let's do that. Uh, what happened there? Coop de Loop, welcome to the channel. How are you? Thank you very much for following. If you have any Blood Bowl related questions, please do speak up. Most people here are reasonable. Uh, you've been watching the YouTube videos, very nice. What do you mean most? Well, you see, I, it was it was it was always going to split the community, right? Because some people were going to say, "Hey, I'm I'm reasonable." What do you mean I'm I might be most of people that are not? And then some people are like, "Do you mean I'm I'm reasonable? I'm fucking not." And so you've got to pick your. Uh, it was actually completely accurate, right? Some people took offence on both directions. Perfect. We are unfortunately going to get surfed now. Has this one got Juggernaut? She has, hasn't she? Yeah. So we're actually being outbashed by elves. Which is a little unfortunate. me something interesting to get on this. Possibly you have, haven't you? So, if we can get, I mean, if we can get there's a bunch of different ways of potentially being able to do this. Um, That just is three dice. More goes one, two, three, four, five, blam. Cool beans. See where he goes. Stay put. I actually need to break armor on this now. Um, How are you so fucking bad? Okay, never mind. So it's a go for it from Morgs. Surfed is what I think is actually going to happen next, by the way. That's fine. 
because that means that you're not punching my guard out of the way. Because you're not punching my guard out of the way, that's got to be a good thing. Uh, we're going to turn there. He's going to stall this out, right? The, the fact that we're going to get a draw out of a vastly, vastly unfair matchup is I'm absolutely delighted with it. Uh, redeployed says, exclamation mark, monitor. What's that going to do? I don't understand. What monitor do you have? Uh, I've got two of them. Uh, they are both... One's there, one's there. Um, and I am using... Um, one second. I think I've still got a link to them. Oh, uh, which one here? That. Welcome Hello, spelling there. mistakes. Um, I honestly redeployed. Whether I would buy and would whether I would buy them again, I don't know. Um, he has to score here. Um, I don't know. He might try and stall this. And the problem is, you you can only stand here. So we're going to do that. You have to go there. Yeah, he just scored. Um, so he's down to 10. Um, what KOs did we get back? Oh, we got them all back apart from the Goblin. So we're, we're going to be at 11. Okay, so we've got three turns to smash this in um, to play for the win. And that was his 14. Uh, anyway, because I had a question. Hello, I'm new and I have a question. What do you think of the Spanish? They're wonderful people. You can get cheap auto cues, which would help you with your guides. Um, I didn't know about that. It's quite cool. The the first the first two were very scripted. I don't know if people noticed, but the the first like I actually wrote scripts for the first seven, eight, I think, um, and. The, the first two were, were very, very scripted. I, I didn't feel comfortable doing them without a script. Hmm. <coughs> I'm going to have to mark that in the face, actually. Bang, bang. Best way to turn a uh, fuck up on offense, turn a three turn into a two turn. Um, I do need to keep some width on both sides, actually, though. So, as long as I walk through, one, two, three, four, five. As long as we walk through, that's fine. And we just keep a we'll keep a blitzer and a couple of black orcs here. That's okay. Yeah. And you can read when did this happen? Uh, Megatron taught me. It was awesome. Uh, are the instruments rules updated? Oh, quick snap. One out of six. Oh, oh my life! Really, that's where the kick went. That's where the kick went. <sighs> Where'd the ball go? Oh, select. Oh, select the player to give the ball. Spectacular. Touchback. Um. This guy, please.
Block and follow, block and follow. I do feel a little bit like I'm going to struggle to get the ball um, forwards because he's going to be able to screen everything and I'm going to struggle to, to, to deal with the screen. Guess what we're going to do is we'll put you in there, put you in there. Sadly, I have to take a two dice. We can't follow that up. You could run through. If if Morg rolls a pow here, this is massive. And he breaks armor. That's even bigger. Hey, Morgan Thorg in the face. I'd like to sign my Morg up for Morg lessons. Has your Morg underperformed recently? Did you think you were buying a proper Thorg? Then you need new Morg Bang. Where your Morg will bang like a pr trooper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, how much time we got left on the clock? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many rerolls we got left? Unt reroll. L Plate Gamer 100. He has done well, well, Morg or less anyway. Morg or less. Very good, L Plate. For you. That's very good. <laughs> Andy makes the best ads for Pornhub. I do? I don't even get paid for them. Uh, why is it Morg and Thorg? Um, I don't know, actually. Does anyone know why, it, why that? You do get paid for OnlyFans. Yeah, but not under the name Andy Davo. It's Morg Unthorg, says BB Coach. Yes, but... Oh, God's Mork and Gork. It's a hint. Oh, right, okay. It's not and. Yesterday, my Morg got injured in the first round, but luckily I won anyway, says Pecky. Well, congratulations. Dirty, dirty, singular two dice. Nobody likes to see that. He is down by three, four. So he's actually down a reasonable number of people. This is good. It's not right, but it's good. <coughs> say what you see, say what you see. I wonder if anyone else was going to understand that reference. Uh, because uh, I couldn't. There was nowhere safe to put it. There was nowhere safe to put it. But this turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can put the ball in here, which gives me a lot more space to attack. So you've got to die. Um...
You just have to die. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We know the ball is going to go here. Put a big strength five dude in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the ball can go like, ball can be sort of here. Um, we don't really want a cage corner to be there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we really need a cage corner to be like, the ball needs to go there. Yeah, okay. Not going to get around the back. It's a two plus rush now. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot healthier. Whoops, don't do that. Am I going to be able to screen this? Think of it. Am I going to be able to screen this? There and there. Well, I've got plenty of time in the bank, so I don't care about the, the, the ticking, annoying time no noise thing. So if that goes there, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. I think that's safer. And it's safer to do low slash no risk this turn. Then risk it for a biscuit and do something to draw a break. Because here every week, beer users gather to watch large men fight with weasels. So it's a double rush for you. Fine. Hello, Kratos. And you will not see the end of this day. I will have my, my revenge. revenge. Um. Yeah, why not? It had it had no downside at that point. If you break armor or something fun, then you have an upside. Um, what do we want to do with this guy? Right, he's not a scoring threat. But I feel like if I dodged him out and I made the scoring threat, um, that would be really strong. There we go. So we now have another scoring threat, which you have to go and respect and deal with. So let's do that. Hardcore sticks is like I don't get a high, I just get a roll of the eyes. It's, um, it, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one because um, you just make me jump like all the time. All the time. How does armor breaking work? Uh, all right, so the short version, because I'm one for talking way too uh, too much. Uh, the short version is, uh, you look on the player card there, AV10. So AV10 plus. That means that you need to roll, when you knock someone over or they fall over unintentionally, you roll that, you roll 2d6. If you roll m equal to or more than that value, then you break armor, and that's the armor value, and then you go into the injury roll. And the injury roll is a separate table, which means that you roll... Um, again, another 2d6. If you roll an 8+, plus, you're going to uh, either KO them or casualty them. However, some skills have might, uh, modifiers. So Mighty Blow, for example, lets you add plus 1 to either the armor or the injury. And Mighty Blow plus 2 is the same, but with plus 2. Uh, Thick Skull will cancel down a KO result on an 8. And um, what else will modify stuff? Claws means that you can modify the um, value uh, and you make all armor value 8 plus that's why I haven't changed it and I probably never will yeah uh, or a 7 only a 7 if you're playing Blood Bowl 2 alright okay alright okay that's good that's good it's it's a nice slice yeah, I like that one. Who's who's sound what sound effects is that? It's Les. Nice. 
Oh yeah, and, and Stunty's a whole new kettle of fish. So yeah, um, so there's Stunty as well, depending on your fish kettle combination. Um, so on a on a simple three plus, we can go and score. I think you've got to do that. I think. I think you just take the three plus, right? I'm, I'm. All the other options are worse than taking the three plus. So if we look at this, we can go four plus, four plus, three plus, two plus, two plus. That sucks. Um, we can fail to roll a pow, which is miserable, and then everything sucks. Um, so it's a handoff to Morg on a three plus with a reroll, and. Score. Like, I'm just going to do that. It's Morg. It just is Morg. You think it's not going to be Morg, and then you realise that it is Morg. And we're not going to make that three dice, are we? Because we followed that up. That was um, unwise. Never mind. Um, I suppose there is one other option, actually, which is hand it to that Blitzer, but um, the Blitzer has animosity and I'm going to do a dodge, so it's... Nah. Let's give it to Morgan's score. And you don't have anim animosity when you hand it to a... Um, nah, you're not supposed to have animosity when you hand it to this. Winner, winner, Davo's dinner. <sighs> what an absolute dicing. Uh, Davo dinner is always chicken, yes. Ah, just fell for elf bullshit, yeah. Uh, Ulfa Ferris says, even in question from a beginner, how do you choose in Blood Bowl 3 when an ability says you can either or, e.g. Mighty Blow for armor or injury? Uh, the game will apply the best result for you. And because it's sequential, uh, if you didn't break, if you didn't need to use Mighty Blow on the armor, it won't use it. If you needed to, it will. So it will always pick the best answer for you. And people said Morg is bad. Best is not always best in case of Claw Mighty Blow. It's a name at least you're talking about a very edge case, but I, I think in Ulfa's question, let's let's go with 98% of the time, that's right. JMC, you've got a proper team, by the way. That's a proper team. Uh, and I thought you played a solid game as well. Well played. <laughs> 